I'm asking every one of you to do what you can to prevent unnecessary pregnancies. Some people would say that every pregnancy is unnecessary. Either way, we all know people who should not be getting pregnant. We all know people who should not be making other people pregnant. If you know people amongst your friends and family that should not be reproducing, it's time to talk to them. Can you not Set up a WhatsApp group. Buy them some contraception for the new year. And start talking to those people amongst your friends and family that are in a no position to bring new life onto this planet. You no longer have to strap yourselves to trains or lie in the middle of Oxford Street with a big pink boat. You can do much more than all those crusty Extin Extinction Rebellion people by just simply persuading one person you know not to reproduce. This will be doing more for the environment than that lot. And it doesn't even involve leaving the comfort of your home. Spend some time this evening identifying those people in your contact list that should not be reproducing. And start to communicate with these people. Because if only if these people, if only if your parents, if their friends and family would have had a little word with them and told them this is really not a good idea, you may have been spared this experience, madam. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a competition running at the moment for anybody that can tell us why their parents had them and come up with a good answer. So far, we haven't found anybody at all come up with any reasonable re answer to the question, why did your parents have you? Many people don't know why their parents had them, and I sure don't know why your parents had you. <laughs> For sure. Why did your parents have you guys? Oh, very good. So your parents had you so that they could create someone not to make the same mistakes as they made. Well, that's ridiculous. Why do that? Why bring someone in here? I mean, the chances are that your children will make the same mistakes you make. That's all they do. They copy you. They're going to end up like you. Your children. Why would you want your children to end up like you, sir? And if not, why are you having them? This is a dangerous night tonight, where many men go out a loaded weapon of mass destruction. They drink too much alcohol. And yet another unnecessary pregnancy to add to the 350,000 pregnancies that are going to take place in the next 24 hours. All of them unnecessary. Because look around here, I mean, hands up anybody here who's strictly necessary. Anybody? And hands up here if you think that we can't get by without you replicating yourself because your DNA is so amazing. Hands up. So why are you replicating yourself and except for this guy here? What's so good about your DNA, mate? Oh, you don't want to. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do get asked what I'm doing. Why is it up at the time? especially by my psychotherapist. But the question not, is not what I'm doing, the question is what are you doing? That's the important thing. What are you doing? <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm trying to persuade as many people as I can not to reproduce, like these people here. Do you, do you understand? Do you, just look. Oh, just look here. Look here, would you agree that we need to discourage these people from reproducing. Just having a look at them, would you agree with that? Why is it my business? Because it affects us all, doesn't it? The more of this we got, the worse it is. Bad enough as it is. So of course it's my, it's all our business. Every 
child born is our business. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to have that conversation with your friends and family who should not be reproducing. We've all got them, haven't we, sir? Do you have people amongst your friends and family that sh clearly should not be reproducing? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be an honour them, exactly, of course. All of them, of course. My mum obviously made a mistake. Yes, she certainly did. Absolutely, of course she did. Yeah. And don't worry, if your parents made a mistake, and don't worry. You're in the overwhelming majority in the, in the sense that your parents clearly didn't think this through properly, didn't they, sir? No. They never thought this through properly. They probably sort of thought it through until you were about four. Probably not even that far. Because if they would have realised it was going to end up like this, I'm sure they would have been more, more, more careful. Do you know what I mean? And the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, you, we've got to talk about sex in a different way. Because nature is using sex to conspire against you, to get you to reproduce against your own interests and the interests of your unborn children. The cave of death, as we're going to have to call it here today, being before the watershed time. The cave of death. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, can I discourage you from wearing what anybody else tells you to wear? Do not wear it. <coughs> and ladies and gentlemen, you may be wondering why I'm here. But I'm here to warn you to stay away from the cave of death. No matter how tempting it is. No matter how much it calls out to you and says, Come on! Come! Oh, no. Come into the cave and death and so lovely it is! Oh, it feel nice! Because if you do, if you do enter the cave of death, he calls it the cave. This time next year, the cave. you could be hearing this sound day in, day out. Ah! Ah! Those sounds accompanied by the sounds of the bills dropping through your door for the thousands of pounds that this child will cost you every month. Only to end up like people like you. And if only your parents' friends family would have had a little chat with them and said to them, look, this is really not a good idea, you really don't want to be reproducing. You could have been saved all this. Do not fall for it. Do not enter the cave of death. In the end, you will pay a high price. Because you will be hearing the sound if you enter the cave of death in three years' time, on the child's second birthday, you'll be hearing, I want an iPhone Pro Prime Max, whatever it's called. I want the iPad Pro 14-inch little Jimmy's got one. <laughs> If you don't take precautions this evening, ladies and gentlemen, in a few years' time, the unnecessary pregnancy will turn into some serious problems for you. 
as Instagram takes over its minds. And if you want to see the effect of Instagram on people's state of affairs, the state of their psychology, just look at the people who follow Instagram. Oh, I think it is.